Hey guys, it's just a here again. Um, I'm not. I've kind of been recording these in like not in any specific order as, as I kind of find them. Um, I found this place, which is literally a dive bar. <laughs> it's underwater. Uh, this is another one of the places. I'm, I think I'm gonna start off this one just so you guys know. Like, um, I never really have a plan for recording this. It's just kind of like I found things. I was like, I might as well record it and like maybe I can make a video about it later. Oh, that's cool, anchor. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know you could do that. But uh, in the middle of. Um, all three of the main zones of the Alliance. Uh, there is a dive bar, the Whale's Belly. Come down, there's all sorts of silly things. I'm gonna kind of spend some time exploring it a bit. We got pole dancing, Pandarian's dancer. We got a glug glug. I don't know. If, I don't know if he's like just drinking or is he like the bartender? We got underwater food. I'll be soaked. Have anything ancient? We got all these kind of cool I mean, the items. Be at least two centuries old. Riles Growler, a home brewed DA, a deep pale ale from the undiscreet beer drinkers with a obvious like bow tide. Cannon shot with a faint aroma of gunpowder. I have one of those. If you find anything exotic, bring it to I me. was oh okay, drunk of one. I was kinda hoping for um to launch me or something. Oh, is that unique music too? I just, I just noticed the music changed. I think this needs to be pretty fun to use in some other videos. Oh. This guy, Captain Nakwaski? No, Iwaski? Fancy a cup, huh? Oh, look at this rat! It's got a bubble on its head. It's cool. <laughs> Disco jellies? <laughs> I like it down here. I think I, uh, I'll have to, like, try some of my friends this year. But yeah, this, this video is gonna be about us pretty much showing a bunch of random places uh, you can find all around uh, the new zones in World of Warcraft. This is by far one of my favorites, honestly. This is just this is just too cool. That symbol again. Yeah. All right, we have another one for you guys. This one took me a while to figure out. I saw it. And I didn't quite get the reference right I thought it was a Godsmack reference to the song Voodoo. Then I realized Hoodoo Voodoo is a reference to a very specific character and a game, our favorite zombie game. Not my favorite, oh, I guess a zombie game. It's not my favorite. Uh, Sam B from uh, Dead Island. You might recognize this. Mind you, stick around. I'm going to change the song. God. You guys might recognize this. Bit. This, is, this is the song. Night. Me. Sam B. <laughs> Shrunken head, broken legs, body parts on the concrete. Cut them up, butcher style, gators in the swamp. Red light, leave them dead, running like a. Yeah, that's uh. That's uh. <laughs> that one took me a while to get, and I'm pretty happy I got that one. Um. I'm gonna look around for some more. I found some. I think I found some pretty easy ones, but I think I'm gonna start looking harder for. References that maybe I might not get right away. Like that one right there, I thought, I thought was kind of hard. I didn't, I didn't get it right away until, um, I tried look, looking things up about it. I was, I was typing in, um, like hoodoo, voodoo, Godsmack, and then I realized as I was typing in, it auto corrected to, um, Dead Island, and I was like, holy shit, that's what it is. And uh, the next one, I guess that was pretty good. This one right here, I'm not. I assume they're referencing like uh, um, Wizard of Oz, with the flying monkeys here, but they've done that before in the past. Uh, maybe there's more to this reference right here. So if anybody can tell me down below in the comments, like what this is mostly referencing towards. I kind of I kind of read their dialogues. Like like my new wings, the fast may they may be. No slicky can hide from me. Wickets either, filthy wickets. This one says. Sicklies of Zandalar are weird. Too ook and salty. <laughs> they sometimes talk back. And then, um, yep. talk to, uh, Rocky King. I know Rastakhan, the mighty and eternal king, he should be careful who he takes under his wing. Maybe he's, maybe he's referencing, like, Zul. This is like a reference to, the, like, it's like a foreshadowing if you talk to this guy. Flying Hosen. There are many secrets of both Mysteries and Divine. You have yours and I have mine. You guys can tell me exactly what this this means here. If anybody knows or has an idea, let me know down below. Here's a little fun thing. Here's a Katniss snip snip or snip tip giving a 
Jaguar the Shaggy a haircut. That was a cool little thing. I didn't expect to see this. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. A Katniss snip tip. I think it's kind of maybe a reference to like Hunger Games, but I'm not 100% sure. Because like, Katniss is the same person's name, but I don't know. But she wasn't like really a haircut or anything. I don't know. Connor Buznik. Oh, wow. I didn't notice that before. I've never seen that. That is one fancy looking uh, goblin we got there. One of these were proposed goblin idea. Oh my god, look at that one. Oops. That's, that's all for this area, I guess. I don't know how much of an Easter egg that is, but if, if anybody knows, let me know. That's kind of interesting. Hey guys, I found another Easter egg. I thought I like I I don't I didn't remember these uh, NPCs being here. I was flying by. And what caught my attention was uh, the upright posture of the orc. This is like uh, back when the BFA was first launched. And so I didn't realize that was an option right away. And so like the orc automatically caught my attention. And I realized this is a reference towards uh, God of War, the, the newest game that came out. And I thought it was pretty cool a reference. Uh, they're they're going to speak shortly. I don't know how long it takes them to speak, but however long it takes them to speak, I'm going to read the dialogue they say because... Uh, I think it's actually pretty good dialogue between two characters. And I, I'd like to see more of this in World of Warcraft. I, I, like, I like seeing a lot more of these NPCs around uh, in the cities or just in the game itself. Like, it really gives the game a lot of life, especially if, um, it's, it, makes, it makes you kind of in a way feel more immersed. Even though I know this is a reference to something, it's still pretty cool to see, like... Speak, friend. Uh, a traveling warrior and his son together. So I'm like, I'm like looking for all kinds of things like this. What's that right there? That's new. We're second refugee. So we got refugees in town now. What do you need your high we got people role playing too because I'm playing role play sometimes. I have highlight names off so like I could see uh, any players better. I don't know if they're going to speak anytime soon, but I might as well go back through what they said. Traveling son says, I feel bad that the elves lost their tree. Traveling warrior says, why? He told me that the orcs once lost our home. That was long ago. Didn't it make everyone sad? We were not ourselves. It is difficult to explain, boy. Mother spoke of it sometimes. I think it made her cry. I don't know. I don't think anyone should lose their home. Not uh, if it, it makes them feel like that. You have your mother's heart. Definitely. It's definitely referencing... I think we should go on to the next one. All right, guys, I finally found it. I've been doing this for like a couple hours now. So we got this uh, Ridge Runner, which is a reference to a cartoon called Riley Coyote, or it's this is a character in it. I don't remember the cartoon's name exactly. I believe there should be another character chasing that around here somewhere. It should be the the fox or rocket on its back. But there it is. There it is. We got it right here. And there's Wiley uh, chase. <laughs> what is this? Suspicious adv uh, adversaries, Wiley, Coyote, and then uh, they're going really fast. Oh my god, look at that. I don't know how they keep up. I feel like if uh, I could catch up to the other one, it would be good to get I don't think I'm going to be able to catch up. I don't even know where it's going. This way. I, can, I don't think I'm going to catch up to that. Uh, which... <laughs> All right, I found another one. This one I uh, ran into uh, a couple weeks ago when I was just curious and running over here, but that was before I had the idea to like, oh, maybe I should record this and make a little video. Um, over here we have uh, what looks like two Tortolans getting married under the water over in this little crescent area in Zildazar. Uh, <laughs> underwater fireworks, it's pretty impressive. All right, uh, on to the next one. This is the little cool thing I found in BFA, and uh, I'm on I'm too on to, on to something new, but you might see it later in the video. Something to do with uh, a mask, but uh, I was talking to this little uh, little witch doctor, Toko. Uh, what did the blood elves say to the witch doctor? I was like, "What? Sorry, ah, uh, <laughs> sorry. He got to me. He turned me into 
Turn me into this road. Oh my god, I got wings still! And my blades, what? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Alright, see what else I can find. Alright guys, I, I stumbled onto a really cool um, uh, Easter egg right here. So this Easter egg right here is, is Brontosaurus. I'm, okay, I looked up because I was going to kill this thing because I was, I was bored. And up there, I see a character named Team and a character named uh, Lexi. That's, that's Lex and Tim. And this is a Brontosaurus from Jurassic Park. It's, 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 it's what it's referencing. It's an Easter egg from Jurassic Park. And I thought this one was really, really cool. Um, I was going to try to find a way to get up there, but I realized quickly I could not climb this. But this is a really cool reference. It would have been cooler if, like, say I was walking by this tree or something and they were up in the tree, but instead they're on a tower and they're feeding the uh, Brontosaurus this. The Brutosaurus. Oh, let's roll to our next one. That, that one was really cool. <laughs> Here's another Easter egg I ran across uh, yesterday when I was playing with my friends doing some world PvP. This is reference to Winnie the Pooh. We got uh, Hunter Robin, uh, Malakane Mule, which is the donkey. <laughs> We got the uh, pig, which is piglet, honey bear, which is poo bear. We got tiger, <laughs> which is tigger. Then we got uh, ribbit, which which is uh, the rabbit character. Wait, is there an owl somewhere around here? Maybe we can find an owl. He was a big part of the cast. I don't think we. Uh, there should be an owl around here. There are owl characters. The rabbit. Well, that's the that's the that's the next one we got right here. I'm trying to find more at this point. Uh, this is the last ones I came came back to. I've been looking all day for all, all sorts. So we might find some more. So if we do, on to the next one. If we don't, uh, this might be the end of the video, but who knows? <laughs> we'll, we'll keep finding them.